I think I'm gonna mount. I want to mount a monoprop tank in here, but at the same time, I feel like that's too much. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that. All right. Let's see here. Let's grab a cargo bay. Grab a fuel tank. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I want to build out this. I want to build out the actual fuselage first, and then we'll go in and we'll do some wing stuff. And I'll make sure that I go through everything here. But basically, we're going to be building this a while, so I want to make sure that I get everything covered. I'm going to put this panel in here. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I put this adapter on, if I can find it here, this guy, this engine mount, the shuttle's engines, you know, the, the NASA shuttle, it didn't have fuel from the shuttle going into these main engines. The main engines were only fueled by the external tank. So because this plate has no cross feed, that will solve a lot of the fuel issues that we're gonna have. There we go. Perfect. And then we can go on here, we can put our engines on, and I'll rotate those later on once we have the rest of the build here. Now I'm gonna do these all in 1x symmetry, just in case. I could put them on in 3x, but no need to. Fuel panel? Yeah. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I kinda wanna run some struts too. I don't know, should I put an RCS tank in here? I don't know. Do we need it? That's just gonna make it a little longer. It's gonna make it awkward. Forget that. Alright, let me see here. I wanna run some struts though. And yeah, we'll worry about it later. Is having the plate there reduce the strength of the joint? Yes, it does. So I'm going to run a couple of struts, not even two minutes and learn something useful, nice. Yeah, I'm going to run some struts off of this adapter back here, but I, I need some things clipped inside the back here first before I can do that. So we'll worry about that later. But you could use anything really. I, I use a structural plate just because, you know, it's a structural plate. But you could use any of these parts as long as they say, let me see if I can find it, either no fuel crossfeed or if you used a decoupler, crossfeed toggles. Like, you can take this and you can right click this and say, you know, disable crossfeed. And that won't crossfeed fuel. I just use a panel because it's the, you know, flattest, simplest part. High fives and raised areas. Yeah, it's good to, good to teach you guys something. I'm hoping that I can. I feel like the music's really loud. Turn it down a little bit. I'm hoping I can teach you guys a lot of useful stuff. But we're going to worry about most of the actual fuselage after this. Actually, before I do that. Let me work on the inside here. So what I usually do is I just throw a docking port on the back of this. I kind of want to do this. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I was thinking about this last night. Just kind of how to make this look a, a little bit better. And I think we can do... It's going to look weird. I want to put panels back here. But at the same time, that'll look kind of stupid. Maybe we'll just forget that. Put that there. That's fine. Okay, so that's just going to be for payload to dock to. Now up here, basically do the equivalent of the mid-deck. We'll use one of these. I don't like attaching things to that node because they kind of, you know, they offset weird. I'll show you what happens. I'm just using this as an example. Actually, never mind. We can attach it there. So usually things glitch out here, so I try to avoid it, but apparently it's going to work just fine this time. Let's see if I can do this right. So, you know, the shuttle had a mid-deck, and it's basically just going to serve in this. That's what happens. It's going to serve in this light here as just a point for uh, for extra crew. And then we're going to mount our docking port to it. Let's see if I can offset this in here. Stream especially, I'm expecting to learn lots. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, most of the, the learning and, and the tutorial stuff, most of it's going to be not now. It's going to be later. Uh, the, the big thing right now, I need to rotate this. That looks better. The big thing right now is building it up until the... I want to make this look better. I don't like that at all. Uh, building this out and making it look good is going to be kind of tough. But we'll get it done. All right, I just need to make sure that this has the clearance that we need. Let's see if I can do this right here. I want to make sure that this is aligned with that here. That way we don't have any issues when we dock to a station or something. 
but at the same time it needs to fit in the bay so I think right about there should be fine as long as that doesn't clip will be good Let's see if I can offset that down a little bit but yeah most of the most of the teaching is going to be in the center of mass center of lift and in RCS placement and then in actually getting the thing to fly that's where the, the hard part comes in I'll set that down just a little bit more that should work Looking forward to booster main tank construction, yeah. Well, thrust and fuel balancing, believe it or not, I, I know you guys know my, my, you know, normal save shuttle. That one doesn't have much fuel balancing at all. Uh, it actually, it's very, very straightforward, the way that I balanced everything. Just going to run a strut to here. That'll lock that in place and keep it from wobbling too much. But yeah, the, the fuel balance, it's actually not too hard. The hardest part is just running the fuel correctly. I don't actually drain any fuel tanks. So it should be easy peasy. What I like to do here, I know um, I know EJ does his shuttle differently. He has two noses here as far as I know. What I like to do is I just like to stick one of these on the front. Just angle it down slightly. I think that looks classier. Gives it a nice little, you know, nice little profile look to that. Okay. But that's the main body of the shuttle, really. We'll have to clip some SAS and stuff in, but we'll worry about that later. Looking forward to the flight guides, yeah. Alright, so what I like to do, and, um, you know, EJ did this first because he had access to the pre-releases, but I actually was thinking about it at exactly the same time. I like to put on two of these shuttle fins, offset them out slightly, and then when you deploy them, they're inverted right now because they're kind of buggy, but if I actually, if I rotate them, if I move them out this way, see if that fixes it. That's still inverted, but whatever. Basically, it gives you the split tail of the shuttle. It makes it look fancy. And then we'll just clip this in a little bit. There we go. That'll be fine. Let's see if I can do this right here. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing good today. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Throw in our drogue shoot. All right, there we go. I just like to clip that in. We don't need it visible, and that'll help us land. And that's that's the main main body. It's not bad. All right, so flip this thing around. Now we get to the meat and bones of it, and this is where it's gonna get hard. When I build these, I can probably build a decent shuttlecraft in very little time. Uh, the issue comes in. You know, actually getting the thing to fly. That's that's the hard part of a shuttle. Does the real shuttle have a split tail? Not necessarily. Um, it's a single tail. Let me actually see if I can get a picture of it. Space shuttle tail deployed. See if I can find it here. I want to... I want this view here. Here we go. Let me just save this. This is going to be going on OBS Studio folder. Shuttle landing. Save. All right, let me just add this really quick to the scene. Image. Don't make it visible. Browse. Okay, this will just take a second here. Black attack, think of the host. Smash, how's it going? All right, so I make it visible here. So basically the way that the shuttle's tail works is, I'm just gonna kind of get rid of all this white space here. It's a single tail. But, let's see if I can... You know what? I don't have open. Hold on. I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot something really important. Forgot the little paint tool here. So, I'll grab a red brush. And I actually need to move this down here. Perfect. So you can see right here. Let's see if I can do this right. Right there. The shuttle, the, the fins split, but it's a single tail. So just to kind of, you know, mimic that feature, I just put two tails in. Basically, all it is. Just a control surface bit, yeah. That was a good picture right there. But yeah, Lack, how you doing? And Smashed, hope you guys are doing well. So what I'm doing here with this beam, this is just a structural beam. And the real shuttle had, because the spine of this, it's not like a normal ship where it's all attached here, because this payload bay door would have to open so this is basically just the spinal cord of the shuttle and we're going to be mounting our wings off of this but yeah it, it is a the real shuttle does have that split split tail fin 
which is pretty cool. I like it. It looks nice. All right, how do I want to do this here? This is going to be difficult. I'm going to offset this forward just a tiny bit. There we go. That's slick. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let me see if I can do this here. And guys, lack streams, enraged streams, some guy streams. Go and follow them. All awesome people. I'll give you guys some official shouts. Actually, you know what I just realized? That's not on. There we go. I'll give you guys some official shouts once we get some more people in here. All right, let's see if I want to do this right here. Throw in a couple of type A wings. Make this thing look fancy. Let's see if I can do this right. I want to make these look good. Because I don't like the way that the shuttle, the shuttle parts, the Mark III parts in this game are rounded. It looks really bad. So I kind of follow the same stylings here with these wings. Makes it look a lot nicer and gives us lift. I don't know if they're fixing it in 1.2, but the Mark III parts actually don't give body lift. So if we don't do this, then we're going to have a bad time. Should I put another set of these? I think I might grab the small beam here. There we go. See the shuttle one? Yeah, it was ahead by two votes. So I decided we'll do this. We'll do it next week if I don't finish it. Uh, and then after that, we'll see. Probably going to do the mining base after. But who knows. But I'm cool with it. I've actually really wanted to redesign the shuttle for a long time. Uh, my old shuttle, if you guys know, it's kind of glitchy. has some issues. So we could use a little bit of a renovation. Okay. Do this differently here. So what I like to do is I just put these wings on here and I just rotate them 90 degrees. There we go. Now this isn't going to look like this. It's going to be better. You guys will see as soon as we get these all in position. But I like to put these wings on here just to make them a bit more reliable. Let's see if I can do this right. It gives me that extra lift and it just makes it so much better. Alright, let's see here. There we go. That should do it. It'd be nice with all the new engineering stuff that I've kind of picked up over the last few months. Bunch of little engineering tricks here or there. It'll be good to have a little renovated shuttle. And we'll take this and we'll use it in uh, in this save and probably my sandbox save too. Alright, that should do it. Actually, this is a little this is a little off. I'm gonna change this here. I'm gonna make this a smaller part instead. I will use one of these just because we don't need that full-size wing Let's see if I can clip this in right Siri bug finally got the internet dongle nice how you doing Siri good to see ya All right, let's just offset this forward here good stream to come in though doing the shuttle build it's good to have you guys here appreciate all the support as always that should do it all right, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to clip these in just a little bit. I'm going to bring them in line with the rest of the craft here. Just like so. Now, I don't want these to clip, so bring them out to right there. That should do it. And then we'll just bring these all in line. And this just makes it look cleaner. That's all. Really no reason to do this. I could leave the gaps, but those are ugly. So just take them a moment here. And then we're going to need one more set of these as well. I either want to play Evolve Stage 2 or Kerbal. I mean, I never played Evolve, so I can't speak for Evolve. Play whatever you like, though. Both games will always be there. You know, they'll always be around. There's no saying you can't go back and play one later. Okay. That should do it. And then I'm just going to take this beam here. I'm going to slide it into the body just to make it a little cleaner looking. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll slide these down. There we go. Just to kind of cover that beam up, I don't want to see it. Just personal aesthetic preferences. The other models of the shuttle, the beam is visible. I just don't like it. We're going to have to run some struts off of these all, too, just to keep them from having issues. That's a little too far down. There we go. Now, the, the there's a body flat back here. I will make that in a second. 
I think what I might actually do... I probably should use the bigger wing here. Now that I think of it. Mm, no, you know what? Let's do it this way. I'm going to put on a couple of Type-D connectors here. Actually, is there a longer part that I can use for this? I don't really want to use this. Because this only has a 1200 Kelvin tolerance. And I don't want to use a big connector here. I guess... Mm, now we'll have to use type D's. That's fine. Parth, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Alright, I'm going to use type D's here. This is just to make the back end look a little nicer. See if you can do this right. It took me a really long time to do this on the other version. Actually... You know what? I'm going to rotate these up slightly as well. Probably shouldn't do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Arth one, Nice. Congrats, Arth. Right off the bat, yeah. Man, my mods always win. I promise I didn't rig it. I think that's a little too much. What I'm trying to do here is just bring the fuselage in line with the rest of the shuttle here, but it looks like it's going to be a little glitchy. That might actually look a little weird. You know what? Let's remove that. I wish I remembered how I did this on the other one. Because I really like the way that I did that. Let's see if I can just offset that in a little bit. Let's just stop the clipping. Or out. That works too. Eh. It's not terrible. It could work. We'll make it work, I guess. And then we'll just come in here. I'm thinking I'm going to use a... Um, because I want to try not to curve any of the lifting bodies at all that much. Uh, right now, our center of lift is right here. And that's good. If I rotated these, that would actually modify my COL slightly. We don't want that. Kuri, how's it going? Oh, man. It's good to see you guys. Kuri, guys. Kuri's a streamer as well. Hope you guys are having a great day. There's the link for Kuri. Give you guys all links now at this point. Some guy. Raged. And lack. There we go. All awesome streamers you guys should check out if you don't know them. I hope you guys are doing well today. Good to have you both here. Well, good to have you all here, I should say. Right, do I want to use these? These are too big. I just want to cover this up. I don't like the way this back looks open like that. So we'll just clip a couple of panels in here. That should be fine. There we go. This is just to clean the back end up here. Just makes it look a little nicer. I just like doing it, but you don't need these. There we go. That just gives it a little uh, clean profile. Makes it look fancy. And actually, this is bad. I'm going to see if I can bring these up a little more. Maybe if we clip these in too slightly, that might work. There we go. Rotate those back up a little bit. Just trying to make this edge look a little better. That should do it. Clip these in as well. Just to keep that all in line. I just, I hate this. I'm not a fan of that. That clipping there. I mean, I, I guess we could probably put in... I just want to clean this up a little. It's, it's going to bother me if I don't. We could probably stick in a couple of something else, maybe. Hmm. Let me see here. By the way, I know some of you guys weren't around when I made the change, but there's a commands command now. Did manage to fix that. I could put air intakes in here, honestly, just to cover that up. I think I might. Let me see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Let's use a type D wing in here. No, that's not going to clip right. I just want a curved wing here that doesn't look weird. I guess I could duplicate the type C and use the type C, but I just don't know how I feel about putting it like this. Wait a minute. No, you know what? Use the type E here. Type E solves all the problems, actually. 
I can still curve this and you can make it look right and it won't have that weird clipping on the bottom. It will do that though, which is an issue. And that's not perfect. I want this to be in line with the back of the shuttle here. So if we do this, it'll be a bit better. That's better. And then we'll rotate this one slightly here. Oh no, that's bad. I can't do that. Hmm. How am I going to do this? I just, I could put panels in here too, but we got this gap I need to fill. It's going to bother me if I don't, and I don't want to use those because they're ugly. I guess we'll put in some intakes in here just to fill this gap up. Let's see if we can do this right. There we go. That just closes that up and makes it a little cleaner, I think. Nope, doesn't do anything. All right, forget it. <laughs> Let's just leave the gap, then I'll worry about it later. Uh, where are you flying it to? It's just a space shuttle. It's going to be in, you know, Kerbin, Sphere of Influence, Kerbin Orbit. Basically it. For all intents and purposes, it is a simple little shuttle. I should turn off the center of lift here. We don't really need that on. All right, so gear mounts, I'll just put a couple of these in here. See if I can do this right. Pow with the host. How's it going, pow? Guys, pow streams as well. How you doing, pow? Hope you're having a great day today. Top 10 command shows top 10 hours and top five. It does it? Let me fix that. I'll fix it. It's cool. Oh, yep, I see it. All right. Add. There. Should be fixed now. Okay. Put some gear on those. Do that in a minute. Alright, so wings. Simple, simple wings. Now, I I hate the wing strikes. The uh, the Mark III wing strikes. May, how's it going? Guys, go follow May and Pow. Awesome people. Definitely deserve it. Alright, I want to put... Should I put Elevon 3s back here? Because the, the shuttle has a body flap. Maybe Elevon 1s will be better. Yeah, those are much better. The shuttle has a body flap, so we'll use the Elevon 1s for that. Give them a little rotation as well, just to stop the Z fighting. And that one, we want only pitch and roll. Perfect. Okay. Making some good progress here. Anybody just joining in, you haven't missed much much the meat and bones of the whole shuttle build are have that nah, as of yet to to come up we've still got a lot of work to do may with the host there it is how you doing may all right that looks like it's clipping a little weird is that is that right i feel like this isn't rotated right though it looks off center to me i should be better that was weird. All right, we'll just offset this up to bring that in line with the back of the ship. Perfect. Now, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this because I, I would like to put these on their own part. That way, they're all a single piece. But I think we'll just build it off the wing instead. Can't use Hearthstone as plate is full. Uh, can we give any mods you'd like to use or ask you to use any graphical mods? I mean, if you want to make suggestions, I'll take a look at them. But I can't promise that I'll use them. And for mods, I don't want to use part mods. It's just a personal preference. I want to keep everything stock, especially for Tutorial Tuesday. But I mean, if you have a, an idea of one that you'd you know, like me to take a look at, at least, by all means. All right, these are Z fighting. I don't like that. Actually, pull that out a little bit. There we go. That's better. That looks fancy. But as I was saying, I don't like the... Clip this up a little bit. There we go. I don't like the uh, Mark III wing strike, this guy here. I just think it looks ugly, and it doesn't really mesh well with the Mark III. I'll show you here. It doesn't really mesh well with the Mark III wing. It just it doesn't, doesn't line up. I don't like it. So I'm going to build my own, personally. All right, let me see here. I think if we use the... What I did on my, my other one, my regular save one, is I used the swap wing. Siv, thank you for the host. How you doing, Siv? 
Okay, Civilized Monkey also streams. Go and check him out. Alright, so I'm going to do it this way. See if I can do this right here. Hey, again, anybody just coming in, we're just doing a shuttle build. I asked you guys about a week ago uh, what you guys wanted to see for Tutorial Tuesday, and you guys said a shuttle build. So here we are. It won with 14 votes. Close second was uh, Minmus or Moon Mining Base. In, and that had, I think, 12 votes. Which wasn't too bad. Pumps too well. The others, good night. I'm off to sleep. All right, Siv. Have a good sleep. Thank you again for the host. Appreciate you coming by. All right, so I just, I like using these wing strikes. I think they look really nice, personally. I just want to change this a little bit. Give it a little more inward rotation here. Because we're going to be clipping it back in to kind of mesh a little bit better with that shuttle fin. There we go. And then we can just kind of rotate this up a little. Just kind of trying to bring this in line with the rest of the shuttle, but it's not easy to do if we do this that looks weird hmm See, the problem is if I rotate this too much it's gonna look really weird if you rotate this one down a little hmm see I just I feel like that's really short I don't really know how I feel about that That's not bad, actually. Mod called Ceteris Suits. It makes the Kerbal Space Suits with colored stripes. Yeah, I could. I don't know. I'm fine with their their default suits, personally. Very rarely will I have them on EVA, but I'll take a look at it. All right, let me see here. This is a book straight out of EJ. EJ was... He came by a while back. It was, like, back in November, I think. And he had me do this. And it works really well, so I'm just going to keep up with it. But I put a little I-beam in here. And it just, it helps with the center of lift a little bit. Makes things perform a bit better. There we go. And then we'll cap that off with a small one. And that should do it. And now this looks a little weird, so I'm just going to clip this in a tiny bit. Just so we don't see the edge of that I-beam. And as long as that doesn't clip with the, the payload bay, we're good. All right, and I kind of want to offset this up a tiny bit too. I don't really care, honestly, what the bottom of this looks like, as long as the top of it looks right. So I am fine with the bottom looking the way that it does right now. I think it'll be okay. One more thing we gotta do is just this. It's a five degree angle snap on the wings. Makes it a little bit more realistic. Get rid of that extra beam. <laughs> Pretty slick, yeah. Another mod adds a smoky trail. I have um, I have a similar one. It's destruction effects, but it doesn't work when we're re-entering for whatever reason. Something broke with it, and I'm not really sure what. I have to kind of fix it. I've just been... I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to check all the updated mods. Right, this needs to be rotated a little bit more. There we go. I'll set that up. Give that a little rotation. A little too much. I'm just trying to make this look as clean as possible, but it's proven to be really difficult up front here. That, actually, that'll work. That'll work just fine. So center of mass, center of lift. This is what we're looking at right now. COM is right above it. So we're going to have to fix that slightly. And I think that the way we're going to end up doing it is by probably adding some more control surfaces or some more mass up here. We'll figure it out. We'll worry about that in a minute. We still have to do the nose. And that's going to be a bit. And we still have to do the um, the OMS pods. So we'll worry about that in a, in a moment here. I'm going to disable those before I forget. We don't want these to fill with uh, liquid fuel at all. If I ever refuel it with ore. So we need to be careful. I need to disable pitch and roll on this. Okay. But well, we're looking good so far. So basic fuselage is pretty much done. Let me see if I can get some gear mounted on here. We'll use the... Do I want to use the large gear? No, the large gear is too big. Use the medium gear. That's backwards. Oops. Is it the medium gear? I feel like the medium gear is too small. Mihao with the host. Let's go, Mihao. Guys, go and... Uh, how you doing, Mihao? 
Hope you're having a great day. Give me house some love. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the hosts as always. I feel like these gear are way too small. These are also too far back. I need to offset this up slightly. How long did this take? Uh, we've been live for 37 minutes. Five of it was an intro song. If it gives you kind of an idea of how long it took me to build this. The hard part in building a shuttle, I said this earlier, I'll say it again. The hard part's not in the build, it's getting it to be balanced correctly. I'm back, welcome back, Mia. Hope you're having a great day today. Who are you? Mihao's been a viewer for a while. Mihao's awesome. Alright, let me see if I can do that. There we go. Those struts will just hold the gear bay in. Keep them a little bit more balanced. And then I'm going to flip this around. Grab another medium gear. Put it up front here. There we go. Kid that seeks attention on the internet. Oh, dear. No, it's good to see you, Mihao. Good to see you. Alright, so we're looking pretty good at this point. I feel like the wings are really short and stubby, but I think it's pretty accurate at least. Alright, I kind of want to build the nose here. Now, normally what I would do is I would put in some structural wings. And I'll show you exactly what's going to happen if I use structural wings here. I would have loved to do this, believe me. I'm just going to I'm not going to put them on it anyway fancy, but if I were to do this and I were to rotate these up, see that center of lift is coming way up here. Uh, it's also slightly angling back. If I continued with this, we'd have massive lift issues up front, and that would just cause major issues, especially when I rotate these to bring it even further forward. And that's just going to cause issues. We can't do that. So we're going to have to use panels. Go with the EJ method and do some panels here. Panels are really the only way to do this, honestly. New school, new people, but awesome. They're nice. It's always good to uh, to be in a good place. All right, how do I want to do this here? I think we can just do angle snap. You build out with five of these. Building the nose, I've always had a really hard time with this. But we need to get this done to get the balance right. Because these panels are heavy. Panel hype, yep. Panel hype indeed. Panels are always good to do it. You know, I I used to I used to really watch EJ a lot, and I I learned a lot about shuttles from him. And I always I figured panels were the best way to do it. And you know, he and I have very similar builds sometimes, and that's cool. You know, it's okay. It's okay to have a similar build. It's honestly kind of the best way to do it, in my opinion. How do I want to do this? I feel like attaching them here and having them flop around in the front is a bad idea. But I think that will be fine. All right, I'm going to rotate these up just a little bit here. Okay, again, like I said earlier, the big part of the shuttle build isn't how the body is built. It's how to balance it. And that's where all the tutorial stuff is going to start coming in handy. I can tell you that. See if I can do this right here. Now I have to be really careful. We can't block the gear bay. So I'm gonna have to just be super cautious with this. Super, super cautious. See if I can clip these in right here. Now what I'm trying to do is just kind of offset these in and then we'll rotate them up a little just to kind of bring it into the rest of the profile and nose. One man spam. Now don't worry about it. There's no spam. You guys are, are awesome. Whether, you know, you guys are just lurking or not. Appreciate all the support. Okay. So this one needs to be rotated a little as well. I was never very good at building a shuttle nose. I've always had a really hard time with it. Now, I'm hoping that this doesn't clip too much. But I won't know until we actually test the gear bay. You know what? We'll actually offset this back a little. There we go. That should help. And then we just bring this into match and we should be good. Oh, I start my panels from the front and work back. I start them from the back and work forward, but that's because I I always did it this way. And I feel like it's easier to work with a straight edge than a curved edge. That's just me. You know, it's just how I do things. That's the the big thing about my tutorial stuff and, and really everything that I do, it's 
it's all about the execution, in my opinion. And that's mostly the reason why this shuttle here, I'm not releasing this craft file because, you know, I, I'm going to stick by my mantra of I don't release shuttles because it's much more beneficial to build your own, especially if you guys are following along with this and building your own, you know, totally up to you guys to do that. But if you guys are following along with it, then you should have a shuttle that flies pretty similar but there's still going to be differences in the way that you place things and if you decide to do something a little differently than me you know obviously it's going to make a big difference but yeah putting the wings up here would have messed up the center of lift pretty bad this getting wrecked on exclamation white mission it happens it happens all right let me just clip this in here give it a little rotation outward too and we're just about there just about. I just, I don't like the way that this looks up front here. So I want to kind of change this just a little bit. Getting this to line up right is so difficult. But once you get it, once you get it, it looks great. It's part of the reason why I usually steal the nose pieces from my old shuttle. The one that's on my shuttle in the sandbox save, it actually has... The nose pieces from like three shuttles ago so it'll be good to kind of redesign this even if it doesn't look perfect oops i'm actually making a shuttle but it's gonna be way different yeah i wanted to focus on kind of nasa ish you know similar to the nasa shuttle but like i said it's all in the uh it's all in the way that you know you want to do it like this nose looks terrible and i'll, I'll admit that it, it's not the perfect perfect build but it works i think you're doing major sur surgery on my shuttle yeah I mean, I like your shuttle enraged. I do. It looks really good. But this is the way that I've been building them, and this is just what I'm used to. I'm just going to clip some struts in here. We've got this empty space, so it's not like there's any cheese going here. You know, I'm still I'm still making use of this space. It's just a little different. There we go. That'll just hold the wings together. And then I'm going to throw in one more strut right here just to hold this to the main fuselage. There we go. Now, what I want to do really quick, I'm going to put a clamp on the nose here. I just want to see if there's any structural weaknesses in the actual shuttle's body. And then we'll strut as we need them. Miss the mission, it happens. Make a rocket from uh, JAXA. I don't actually know the Japan rockets. Okay. I don't really care about the shoot. I just want to see what happens if we hit the ground here. If uh, the structural weaknesses. Okay. So I'm seeing structural weaknesses obviously in the nose. Just kind of bounce it a little bit. But it looks like the wing panels in the back, like these sections here, are mostly intact. There's mostly wobble right here and right here. So we'll just run a couple of struts to fix that. My wings are messy. Yeah. Uh, I I have gone through five different shuttles. Uh, this is shuttle model number six, and all of them have had different style wings. Uh, let me see if you know what. Let me let me go into the imager album here. I don't have my original shuttle, but I can show you guys my my shuttles here. I think it's the first four revisions. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can find the album here. Yep, here it is. Let me throw in my very very old model shuttles in the chat you guys want to take a look at that those are n not including the first model i've got the very first lifter that i ever worked with and then version the first three versions not including the first one but you know the two through four of my shuttle revision five is the one that we're using currently in my sandbox save and then this is revision six but i'm not going to call it revision six because that's not what it is but yeah, you can see the old cockpit and the old, you know, Delta Wing-ish designs. And then when I got them to be more sleek. And then version 5. Actually, it might have been version 4. Version 4 used these new wings here. Nathan, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, it's uh, it's gone through a lot of revisions in, in the last couple of years. It's crazy. 
just been so many changes to Kerbal since point 21. It's crazy to think about sometimes. I just want to rotate this a little bit more. Bring that into line a bit better. There we go. Alright, so we need to run some struts here. So the way I'm going to do this, I like to just kind of cheese some struts here. I'm going to run cross struts in between these panels. I don't like to do this, but it, it holds everything in really nicely, even though it adds a lot of parts. Now, I think that if we do that up there and then a cross strut right here, we should be fine. And I guess we'll throw in some up here too, but we don't really need too many uh, on this upper section here. Let's see if I can find it. Right here. Here's the seam. We don't really need struts up here, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to be safe. I should hold everything together. It's like a whole different game, yeah. Spamming air intakes was fun. It was a good time. Let me delete this. Alright, so that should help with the structural reinforcement. I'm going to come up here too. These are clipping in the nose here. And we'll just run these struts out to the nose cone. Oh, those aren't in symmetry mode. Oh, I didn't put the struts in symmetry, did I? I didn't put the struts in symmetry. Oops. I'm gonna have to go make that modification really quick. Let's just take me a second. My bad. Alright, so we'll just quickly rerun these. Really hate how it's not what I wanted to do. Infinite gliders are fun, yeah, I remember those. Good times. Good times. Alright, strut connector, here we go. I sometimes I miss the old aerodynamics, I do. But I'm glad that we got the new one. It just it performs so much better. When you look at, at the way that you know the game used to be compared to how it is now, it's definitely much more polished. Okay, I don't like those beams clipping through here. I'm just going to offset these down slightly. It's not how far that I wanted to go, but... Just turn off angle snap here. I just don't like things clipping into the cargo bay, so I try to avoid it when I can. And those are just the gear mounts for the uh, for landing gear there. I kind of want to offset these up a little too. I feel like these are a little, a little low. That should do it. Okay. Now I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove these struts here. Because the shuttle, the real shuttle, actually has up in the nose. It's like an avionics package kind of thing. So we're going to sort of mimic that with an octagonal strut. Whoa, symmetry is glitching out there. <laughs> it's the Kraken, alright. Um, no angle snap then. We're going to kind of mimic this with some SAS up in the nose here. A couple of these. And then a little reserve fuel tank. I think we'll be good. Let's do let's do three of them. That should be safe. Little reserve tank just for emergency fuel in case we need it. We could probably go with a smaller tank actually. That might that might be fine. And then we'll throw in some batteries just to be safe, just to have some extra power. That should do it. Now there's there's better ways to do this. This is not clean, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Like I said, it's all in the execution. Alright, struts aren't visible. That looks good. Okay, I think we can run one more strut off of this just to hold this in place. Run that right to here. That should keep that from wobbling too, too much. Okay. So, center of mass, center of lift. Everything is not great, but we still have a little bit of you know, fine-tuning to work with before we do anything. So let's start aligning the center of thrust here. I give these about a 5 or 10 degree rotation. So about, about 10 degrees, yeah. What I'm doing here is I'm holding shift, by the way, and then adjusting the little wheel. And that actually does wonders. So that'll keep our center of thrust aligned with the center of mass on the shuttle. But that's really not the big deal. The big deal is when we put a external tank on here, I'm going to do a four orange tank cluster again. So we want the external tank, let's just kind of do a mock here. It's approximately how I'm going to build it. We want the shuttle 
the center of thrust to basically be pointing through this tank here. As long as it's pointing toward here, we should be relatively balanced. Should be. But it won't be easy. It's going to take some time to get it, you know, correct. But I think for now, this is a pretty good kind of ballpark where we should be at. Clip that in. Actually, no, I don't like that. I'm going to pull these bottom engines out just a tiny bit. Just to kind of keep them in line with the rest of them. There we go. I really should have these in symmetry, but it's much easier to not put them in symmetry. You know what? I'm going to undo this. Let's use the angle snap to pull these out instead. Okay. Do the same thing with this one. Even though we actually probably don't need to. Yeah, that, that looks fine. Okay. I need to place the RCS. I need to place the nacelles. Let's do the nacelles first. Now, for nacelles, what I kind of want to do... I'm going to do this a little weird. I'm going to use empty liquid fuel tanks. Uh, the the non-liquid tanks, they actually glitch out a little bit. I'll use two of these. Okay. Do too much effort. 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done, too. The only thing that's left is um, the, the nacelles here. Plus, I gotta have it look fashionable. You know, it's gotta look good. I'm just gonna do this. I don't want the, the liquid fuel, you know, flammable thing to be visible. So I'm just gonna do this. There we go. But yeah, I just, I don't, I want things to look fashionable, you know? Fashion is, is nice. Right, we'll use I I should be using like thud engines to do this, but I want to have that You know that liquid fuel emergency thing plus the rapiers just look really good. I've always preferred using the rapiers And we could put liquid fuel on here, but we don't really need to I'll right, we'll do the same thing. Just give this a like 20 degree angle. I think should be fine because these are higher we probably don't need that much, but we'll do it anyway, and we'll see. We'll, we'll make some adjustments uh, as we need to. But no, you gotta put you gotta put effort in your ships. Can't not have effort, not have them look good. All right, that should be fine. I'm gonna offset this out a little bit more too. There we go. This looks kind of silly, but I think we can make it look a little bit better. Maybe with some surface mounted radiator panels here. Let's see if I can find them. These guys. I think I can just place a single one of these right here. Clip that in a little bit and we'll have a nice looking little nacelle. But no, you gotta put you gotta put efforts in efforts? Effort in your ships. Otherwise they're just not good. It's gotta look good. It's like the guy above you says. If it doesn't look good, it won't work. Okay, I really don't like the way that this looks. It's not... That's not terrible. That works, I think. Grab symmetry here. Put these on. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Slide those back a little bit. I don't mind that. It just it looks kind of silly. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it looks a little weird. Hmm. I guess it's not that bad. Turn the thrust limit down on these. Now these are really important. These engines. I turn the thrust down. Why are they not? Oh, three engines. So these engines need to run through the COM. Uh, these are actually a little too high. So we'll bring those down just a tiny bit. Whoops. That's why the effort, exactly. Gotta put the effort in to make them look good. I could have made like a budget shuttle too, and I could have put in like smaller, you know, I, I could have cut out all these wings here. But it's gotta look nice. It's gotta look good. But yeah, the, the big thing here, let me bring up my little paint tool thing again. 
is the paint, please. Okay. So the center of mass here, the center of thrust, basically needs to run... Wrong tool. Brush, please. Okay. So the center of mass needs to run... Or the center of thrust needs to run through the center of mass here. I can't draw straight. Drawing is hard, okay? So yeah, the center of thrust needs to run through here. That way, we continue to go straight. As long as it does that, we'll be fine. It's a big thing about shuttles. You gotta have the balance exactly right. The hard part here is going to be balancing the RCS. And we'll do that in a minute. What I need to do first is I need to make sure that these aren't going to get fuel from this. We need to make sure that the structural integrity is good. And then we need to give it a little flight test to make sure that it can glide okay. And that nothing will glitch out and break. Turn the thrust back up on these. And I kind of want to put some intakes on these too just to make them look better. But at the same time, I think I might use these nose cones instead. Not those, but the slanted ones. And that might make it look just nice and fancy. We don't really need intakes because we can clip some inside, inside the body. So I'm not going to worry too much about this, but I think, I think putting those there might make it look nice and fancy. Rotate that a little bit more. And then I'm thinking maybe put in another surface mounted radiator here. I think we might have a nice looking ship. See if I can do this right. But yeah, today's today's stream. If anybody is just joining in, or anybody just got here recently, I put out a poll a week ago on Twitch and Twitter and the Discord, and I said, you know, what do you guys want to see? And the winner was to build a NASA-style shuttle. So here we are, building a fancy little shuttle, and it's coming out really nice. And I think we can that looks weird I want to put something in here that will make this look a little less stupid but I don't know what to use but yeah here we are building a fancy little shuttle and I hope you guys are uh, you know getting something good out of it maybe we could you know what what if we put an intake in here what if we put an intake in here just put it backwards and we can kind of permanently shut it I think that might give it just a nice little seam. That looks so weird. No. Click shuttle because Bjorn wasn't on the list. I'm sorry. I actually, uh, I built an energy lifter a long time ago. And I wanted to build a Bjorn. I just never did. You know what? I'm going to take these away. Let's use the ramp intakes instead. Use a pair of these. Kind of run them into each other. That might work better. That might... I don't know. Does that look weird? Is there, or is it just me? Like, I, I feel like that looks really strange. Clip these in a little bit, too. No, that looks ridiculous. I mean, I guess we could just be lazy and put nose cones on here, but... It just doesn't look as good as the slanted nose cones. It, it doesn't. You know what? Let's just leave the, the slanted nose cones on here. I'm just gonna undo this. We'll leave the slanted nose cones on, and if we don't like them later, then I'll find a better way to do it. But I think that makes it look the most shuttly, personally. We will need some air intakes, though, and we'll worry about that in a minute. Alright, one more thing I gotta do. I need to run just some struts here, just to hold this in place. There we go. Paris struts. Right there, should do it. I use the hollow intakes. See, I would use the hollow intakes. But the problem with that is they don't offset right. Let me show you here. Unless you mean... Uh, do you mean like the hollow... Um, these guys? Because if I were to do the same thing... If I were to do exactly the same offset... Then... When I started to mount engines on here... We'd have two issues. One, the back of this. You can see how it's solid. If I put an engine on here... And I went to offset this... We have gaps. I don't want gaps. Gaps are bad. You know, it's, that's the, the big issue. I could cap this off with something, but it just doesn't look as good. I know they're lighter, but, you know, for for looks, I gotta go with those. I, I can't help it. I can't resist. I'm actually going to offset these in a little bit more. And then pull these out a tiny bit. 
Oh, the air intakes, which are hollow, yeah. Um, let's see if I can find it. Is it these? Which ones? Which ones is it? Instead of the nose cones? The radio ones, maybe? Actually. Wait a minute. So bad at describing myself. No, no worries, no worries. But actually, this might not look so bad. The problem, though, the nose cones line up so good. These don't. You know, these just kind of look strange. But we might be able to make these work. But no, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't need to apologize. It's hard to describe things in text sometimes. I know how it can be. See, so yeah, that still, it looks really strange. It really does. But I th think we might maybe be able to make it work, potentially. I don't know. I just don't know if... I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that the nose cones look better or these intakes here? Because that looks kind of cool, but at the same time, it looks really weird. Because they just don't line up right. There's still gaps here. I just I don't like the gaps. Yeah, undo that. I just don't like the gaps. I think they look weird. Go and undo this thing here. Come on. Took me forever to position these things. No, I didn't mean to delete that. Okay. But yeah, I think that the nose cones honestly look a little bit better. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe not these nose cones. Maybe if I use the non-slanted ones. I'm thinking if I use the non-slanted ones instead and then just rotate them in. No, those look stupid. Yeah, slanted nose cones are where it's at. But we can rotate these a little bit too. Rotate them out as much as I can before the gray comes out. Like that. That's not bad. I'm here, I swear. Jangle, how's it going? Good to see ya. Delete these nose cones here. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks nice. You just need to reposition these struts here. We'll be good. But how you doing, Jangle Man? Good to see ya. Yeah, I haven't missed too much. Just the, uh, the fuselage build. The meat and potatoes of the whole how to build a shuttle thing is coming up. Alright, let me see here. So everything, I think everything looks really good at this point. I think we're good for a little test here. I think we are doing good. Alright. Hmm. I just don't like this nose. I, I wish that I was better with the panels than I am. But yeah, I think we're good for a couple things here. We need to run a fuel line. They're, the root part of these engines is this tank. So if we come in here with a fuel line and just run it into uh, this nose cone here, that'll give me fuel for the rapiers. Okay, so let's just fix the staging here and we'll be good. All those on their own stage. All right. Just name it Space Shuttle. That works. Can I post a link to my shuttle? Sure. Go for it. Hearth gave you a permit already, so by all means, throw in a link. And if you're not ready, don't worry about it. I'll give you another permit later on if you need it. All right, there it is. Let's see. Let's see what you got here. That is interesting. Yeah, I see. I see what you're doing. Uh, you're building a much longer one than I am. Looks like it's uh, like an interplanetary shuttle. Big difference compared to uh, the one that I'm working on here. So you can see the plate already that we put in here uh, is actually doing perfect work, and it looks like structurally it's pretty stable. And then if we turn these on, since we have no intakes, it just defaults to rockets. 
But let's see if we can take off here. Don't make it tight with your arms. Why are they sore? I'm gonna just reset, rest and watch. Alright, no worries. No worries. See if we can get any lift here. Worst case, we don't get any lift, and that's fine. We'll, we'll work with it. Oh, I need to turn off steering on these back engines, too. But, oh, I'm not expecting any lift here because our nose is actually slightly pointed down, which is normal for the shuttle. But we might... Nope, we're good. All right, we got lift. All right, so the big thing here, I need to do a little aerodynamic test. And we need to see if this thing will glide... If it glides, then we're pretty good to balance that RCS. See how fast we can get it going here. One thing that I wouldn't mind doing, though, well, a couple things. We need to fix the struts down here because these are, these are, um, since the root part is back here, this is actually going to start clipping. So if we run a strut under that just to hold it in place, that should help a little bit. Uh, and then we'll need to balance out RCS, add a little bit more electric charge generation, since we don't have any solar panels or anything. And then we'll be okay. My stock ship, you do your craft enhanced streams. Oh, the Punisher, yeah. I mean, I can look at it, but I can't make any promises that I can fix it. And it depends what you need done. This thing actually flies really good. For a f literally the first flight... It actually doesn't fly so bad. Flies like a brick, exactly like it should. We'll have to do some suborbital flight tests and, and see if it glides in re-entry okay. But it actually doesn't fly so bad. Except for that, we overstressed the gear. But I know what caused that, so that's fine. But that's not bad. But yeah, I'll take a look at it, Jingle, if you want. But needed to take off faster. Yeah, I'll take a look, but I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it off stream. Cause I uh, I don't know if I'll be able to help. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can, but I'll try. I'll see if I can uh, if I can come up with any any thoughts for you. Right, I'm just gonna run a pair of struts here to, from these wings. That should hold everything a bit more steady. And then a couple more things we need to do. I need to fix the action groups. This was a break. So we're going to do toggle deploy on that. And then I want the lights on the cockpit and the mid deck to light up. So we'll do toggle lights, toggle lights. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's give it one more flight test. But this time what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mount another uh, wheel under this here. Just right down here, right in the middle. I'm going to stick a single pylon or just a balanced landing gear just to make sure that the the nose of the shuttle stays up off the ground. As long as we're getting that lift and we should be able to take off without drifting off the runway. Hopefully. Alright, we'll just stick that in there. It doesn't really matter how it's on. and We're going to drop it anyway when we're done. That's going to go here. This needs to clip up. But yeah, that's just going to be a mount to keep the nose up off the ground. So don't worry about that right now. But yeah, I'll take a look at it, Jingle. Throw it in the Discord, actually, if you if you haven't already. I'll throw it in the Discord, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Okay, got to wait for the physics to kick in. Okay. Let's try this again. Be right back? Alright, sure thing. Got a nice four-man crew here. Bill, Bob, Jeb, and Val. Flying the shuttle like a champ. Well, like champs. Alright, shuttle, take off. But yeah, this thing flies really nice. I didn't think that I would get a shuttle to work. There's the uh, destruction effects, by the way. I didn't think I'd get a shuttle to work just as well as it is. So this is very... Um, this is very good. This is very surprising. And that strut under the body definitely helped a little bit. We still got a little more clipping that we have to work with. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 don't stall. Don't stall. No stall arena. Yeah, we'll still need to fix this because it's still clipping a little bit, but I think I see what's causing it. Yeah, it's it's a lift issue. So a couple struts back here will help too. Alright, 
gear out. See if we can land without stressing the gear again. Shuttles are on fire. That's eh, fine. It's because it's explosive separation of that pylon. So it's no big deal. See if we can land without breaking the gear this time. Okay. That time we didn't break the gear. So yeah, shoot would deploy, brakes would go out, this tail would split, and uh, we'd eventually roll to a stop. But yeah, we need to fix the, the clipping down here because the, the body of the shuttle is clipping through the wing panels, and I just don't want that. That's a bad thing. A couple more struts will fix that. How heavy is it? It is currently 60 tons, 60.195 tons, but we're missing a little bit of extra stuff. I need to do a few more flight tests before we add any more. Like, we don't have any intakes, uh, we don't have any RCS at all, uh, so it does need a few more things left. Post the link? Alright, sure thing. I'll take a look at it after the stream. Alright, how do I want to do this here? These need to be strutted to something. I think maybe just another set of struts in the back here might do it right off of here. My, the one thing that's really surprising me is that I thought that the joint in here would be really weak. Uh, this one that's attached by this panel. I thought we'd have a little bit of weakness here, but it actually seems pretty stable. Why does my shuttle do a backflip? So, the, the reason it does it is probably because your center of lift is too far forward. This is what we're looking at right now. And once this fuel tank is drained, this is our flight profile. While, you know, completely dry on fuel except for our ballast tank in the nose. So, what's probably happening here is your center of lift is up in this section, and that's causing your nose to basically fly up and do a backflip. That would do it. So if you can move your center of lift back a bit, that would take care of the issue. What I did on my other version, my older shuttle, is I clipped a bunch of intakes, or not intakes, uh, control surfaces back here, and that generally fixed it. But obviously that's a little, little cheaty. So it's up to you if you want to do that. Let me fill this tank back up here. Now, my, my one concern with this is my other shuttle had reserve ballast tanks in it. Because getting it to actually do anything was hard. You know, we, we, we were very, very low on fuel on reentry. So I feel like we might have the same issue with this, but I don't know. Gonna be interesting. Either way, I think we should probably put in some monopropellant here. So what I'm actually going to do is let's use this plate. This should be an attachment point. Nope, there isn't. There isn't an attachment point. I was afraid of that. That's fine. We'll just throw on a octag here. Offset this a little bit. There we go. All right. So what I want to do here, I'm just going to hide a little bit of monoprop in this. We've got all this space, so we might as well use it. Clipping is naughty, yeah. But I, I need a I need to put monoprop somewhere. I mean, I guess I could not cheat it and put it, you know, where it's supposed to be. But I don't know. Fine. You know what? Fine. We'll put it where it's supposed to go. On the real shuttle, monopropellant is actually inside the uh, the nacelles here for the engines, and that's because the actual shuttle engines, what they did was they were not, you know, liquid fuel engines. They were actually uh, fueled entirely on mon monopropellant. I cannot speak today. Uh, they were fueled entirely on monoprop. Obviously, in Kerbal, if we were to do that, we would have a bad time because, you know, this craft is a little too heavy for monopropellant engines, given what we have and, you know, what's available in the game. Would not be a good idea to try monopropellant only. Just want to get rid of these struts. So, if we just hide a couple of tanks in here, that should do it. And I'm going to reroute this fuel line, too, while I'm at it. Because that tank was 750. These are only 150. So, that's 300. And then this is another 3. That's 600. And then we'll hide a little bit in the nose as well. There we go. And then we'll just rerun that fuel line. Perfect. And then we'll just cheese a little bit in the nose here. We've got the space. And this is, you know, the shuttle had an avionics package again up in the nose. So this is not, you know, super cheaty. There we go. That should give me plenty of monoprop. 
clipping is legit when this is the thing and where it should be. The other thing too is I'm okay with clipping in here because let me just fix this. These are clipping outside. I'm cool with clipping in this because one that makes it look a little more fashionable. Not that we see it, but basically what this is an empty fuel tank. So this is technically empty space technically. So it's totally fine, you know, to, to clip because these are empty, empty tanks. You know, we don't have to worry about it. Even in here, like this is empty space and it's visually empty space. You know, we actually have space in here to do things with and in here too, in inside the bay. So there's actually very minimal clipping in space that isn't, you know, isn't full. Like right here, this is, you know, natural and technically empty space. So this is pretty good for me, all things considered. You know, I, I clip crazy sometimes. I just want to offset these out a little more. I feel like they're not perfect. Can't, shouldn't comment on clipping. Yeah, no, I, um, I don't know if you saw my, is this right? I think that's right. Yeah. I don't know if you saw my Falcon. I have like four orange tanks clipped inside of it just so we can lift heavy payloads. I, I am not exactly the best person to talk about not clipping. I clip like crazy. All right, so I think I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty balanced. Center lift, center master, good. COT runs through the COM. All right, one last thing I need to do here is I need to run the mono propellant. So the way that the shuttle did it was, I believe it was two Verners up front here. Let's see if I can do this right. I'll do it this way. I think these look a little bit better. I think it was two Verners and then two RCS jets right next to it. Let's see if I can do this right, make them look good. Now, I hate using Verners. Uh, normally, I avoid them on the shuttle just because I don't like to drain the fuel. But I think for the purposes of this, we'll do it. Just these need to be rotated. So they are not pointed straight. Interior really shows off the empty cockpit space. Yeah. I don't have a picture of the interior view. I mean, if you want to grab one, some guy, if you can find one, by all means, throw it in the chat. But yeah, the, the cockpit is super empty. And I think for, for what it's worth, it's really not a big deal to clip some stuff into the underside of it because crew never really went in the nose. Let's see if I can do this right here. All right, that should be good. And we'll bring these out a little bit too. Just kind of trying to bring these in line, right? Yeah, this is not something I normally do with Verners. I hate Verners. I hate the fact that they drain my fuel. I want to clip these in a little bit, make them look a little fashionable. But I, I hate that they drain fuel. I hate it. It's the worst. So I, I try to avoid them as much as possible. But, you know, what can you do? All right, so I think if I remember right, the shuttle has three thrusters up front here. If I clip these in right. I believe the shuttle has three Verners up on the nose. I need to pull up the diagram here. Hold on. Space, shuttle, RCS. Let's see if I can find the image. I think it's this one. Okay, so it was, yeah, three primary RCS thrusters and then three Verners, or well, Verniers. Okay, this should be easy peasy. It's Das and EJ giving us all morals while clipping. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I love clipping. I do it too much, but, you know. Sometimes you gotta be a little, a little cautious with your, your clipping. You know. Gotta think, gotta think of the little Kerbal children who wouldn't approve of crazy clipping. Alright, that should be fine. And then we'll throw on three primary thrusters here. Three Verns low and three small. Yeah. That's why we'll use the the low ones here as standard Vernon engines. And then we'll use the R linear RCS ports up here. I'm pretty sure this is the way that it was done. I just want to make sure that my thrust is pointed straight here. I don't want to... I feel like having them pointed off-center like this is going to look really weird. 
This is why I don't usually do my thrusters in the way that the shuttle does. And I might skip out on them just because I hate using Verners. I hate it. They're the, the worst. They really are. I, I just, I despise burner engines. You know what? I'm going to get rid of these. I hate burners, so no, I have to use them. I have to keep them, even if I dis disable them. I can't, I can't not have these on here. I have to do it. All right, I have to figure out, I don't know how the bottom was, so I'm just going to kind of hide some RCS thrusters inside of here. Just kind of in the same fashion. We'll do two two here and then one in the middle I'm just gonna cheese these inside because I need to I need to make sure that those don't look ugly but at the same time you know I don't want to I don't want to have these clipping on the bottom they just look so bad let me just hide these in here just kind of ignore them there we go pretend those aren't there now I don't have any linear thrust so We'll fix that by just clipping a couple of these in here. I just need a little bit of linear. We'll hide them up in the nose here. Because unfortunately, to put in linear thrusters is not going to be very easy. So we'll just do this. There we go. That'll give me the linear thrust that we need up in the nose. And then back here, see if I can find a diagram of this here. I found a really nice one. Here it is found it oh it's not a picture whatever this works just need to see no it doesn't work I found a really nice diagram yesterday here it is the back of the uh, OMS pod okay so it should be easy peasy burns work as RCS thrusters yeah but I um I hate them because we only have so much fuel on here so I don't like to use them but yeah basically they'll drain if I right click this here they drain liquid fuel and oxidizer at this rate, whereas these RCS thrusters drain modern propellant. And yeah, they're very, very powerful. Very powerful. All right, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to put an I-beam back here. We'll clip this inside. And this is going to be our RCS mount. The only thing that I hate about this is I, I really don't want to overdo it on the RCS. I really don't. Is looking at this diagram here it has like four thrusters on either side of this actually you know what I know what I can do to save on part count we'll do this hide these in here and this will work it's basically the way that the shuttles rear RCS worked is it's four of these here on either direction so by clipping four of these inside That'll basically give us the same sort of profile. And then we're going to have to cheese this into orbit and do a little RCS flight test. So this is going to be interesting. Got to make sure that everything is balanced. The mouse is like sticking too. Okay. Aren't burners the best? They are for power. Uh, they're good for very heavy ships. But when you're talking about very limited fuel or when you're on a smaller craft... You don't really need them. Alright, and then two of these pointing back here. Let's see if I can do this. I'm just going to clip this one straight back and up just so I can click on it again. And then I'll put a couple of these in here. Now I want to try to avoid using Verners on the back of this if I can. Just to be safe. There we go. Actually, this one, I can probably... No, we'll have to put it right here. Kind of offset these back a bit more. But yeah, Verners are, are good for certain things. You know, they're, they're good for very big ships and ships that have that expendable RCS or uh, liquid fuel that they can use. But otherwise, I personally don't like them. Alright, that should be fine. We could put some Verners in here, but I think we're better off avoiding that. For a small lander to burn would be OP, yeah. If you had like a small lander and sent it to Gilly, you would you would have way more power if you use burners. You could probably land on Gilly with burners with a small probe. Usually what I use burners for is um basically like a 
I use it for my, my big transports, and that's about it. All right, what I want to do here is I'm going to go into action group 9. I'm just going to say toggle RCS thrust, thrust for all of these. Just so we don't have to worry about them being on. So I would like to try to avoid using them unless we absolutely need them. Multiple four blocks? <laughs> You're a veritable genius. Yeah, I don't like the one ones because if I used, you know, one one block RCS in here, we would end up well one one we would end up with a crazy amount of parts back here. This is what sixteen parts if we used singles. Now we only have four. Now I'm using SRBs to get into space. Yeah, I I like SRBs. What's your day today? I learned count updated. Oh man, no, I think that looks good. It looks really compact. It's much better than the really com or the really like complicated RCS thrusters that I've seen others do. I think that looks nice. Let me give this a quick sim. Let's stick it up in orbit. There we go. Let's stick it up in orbit and let's see how the RCS handles. TIL, yeah, today I learned. I, mean, I haven't I have a drink here, I haven't even drank it. Hmm. All right, so moment of truth. Action group nine turns the burners off. Let's see how it works. What I'm trying to make sure here is that it doesn't flip like crazy. And what I'm seeing here, we've got too much thrust up front. So we'll have to thrust limit those slightly. But I think for the most part, we've got a pretty balanced craft. Just needs a little thrust limit on the, uh, the burners. How's my shuttle weight and part count? Yeah, the weight, I think, is probably like 65 tons right now. Part count is a little bit more, I think. Let me see. We are at, and take off two parts, by the way, for this. Actually, I can just decouple that. Uh, we are currently at 182 parts and 66 tons. But obviously, it's, you know, it's much more, uh, much more crazy. I want to terminate simulation. I hit restart by accident. Yeah, up to seven. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping I can teach you guys some stuff here. I'm hoping. If these aren't lined up right, let me just fix this. Right, these need to come down here. So these need to be thrust limited. I'll bring those down to maybe eighty percent. See if that works. Now I didn't test the lateral thrust, but we'll worry about that in a minute. I'm gonna thrust limit these down to like 50%. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need that much thrust on these. You know, this is the first time I've ever limited burners and RCS thrusters. I've never limited thrusters before. Fun fact, I, I de generally avoid limiting them. I'll bring these down to about 80. I think that should balance everything out. Now, it's because we have three thrusters, so up here we only have two. I don't think we need to limit those at all. Let's give it another sim. Let's see if that does better. 100,000. Start. Could you do the interior view? Yeah, sure. I'll do that as soon as we get uh, back into space here. To hold my part. <laughs> Seven things, but boy, they're good. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, let's see here. There we go. Interior overlay. Look at them all. Look at them so happy. Look how happy they look. Man, I don't do interior overlay that often, but when I do... When I do... Alright, SAS is on. RCS is on. Still got too much power up in the nose. Oh, you know why? That's why. <laughs> Turn off the Verners. So yeah, uh, balance actually looks much better now. Still got a little too much power in the nose, but I think that we can correct for that with SAS maybe. Mm. Now there's still too much power in the nose. We'll have to cut that back just a little bit. Now I can move the camera in and see hidden things, yeah. Let me just fix this RCS first because we we need to just keep thrust limiting it and then seeing what we need. If I bring this down to maybe 70% instead. Or you know what? Let's bring it down to let's bring it down to 
60%, 60, 66%, one third power. Let's try that. Or two thirds power. Bring those to 67. Let's go, oops. Let's go for, come on. Come on, RCS. Just want to click on you. There we go. 66. Okay, let's just take a second here. Come on. Okay. Oh, those are never limited. No wonder they were having issues. Alright, which ones are 67? These? Turn those down to 66. Alright, let's try that again. So this is the crash mod. It's Kerbal Ramification something or other. I don't even know what. It's a cool mod. I like it. It's good for this stuff. Big spender. I'm a big spender. Oh. Alright, let's see here. Sorry if you guys heard me gulping there. Alright, so action group 9. Shut the burners off. That seems to be a bit more balanced. I think we're good. Get rid of that. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good with a 66% thrust on that. Now, the big question is if I do this, this is actually pretty good. One problem that I'm noticing here is that we've got too much thrust up top and not enough at the bottom. So, I'm going to have to offset these down a little bit. This is causing us to roll, and that's a problem. So we'll terminate this. Maybe my shuttle into a rocket? Yeah, it's not such a bad thing. Don't do interior overlay often, but when I do, I use Dos Equis. Oh, man. No, I, I like the, the interior overlay, but like I said, I don't use it terribly often. Oops. Aw, oh, some guy in hearth, soul survivors. Rip my hundred crumbs. Rip me. All right, I'm just going to offset these down here. That should help a little bit with the uh, rolling that we're seeing, hopefully. Hopefully. Now these are going to be an issue because they're so high, so I'm a little concerned about that. But I don't know. Let's try that again. Orbit selection. 100k. Should have known not to play mission with two mods. It happens. It happens. Hey, I, I lost two enraged. I lost two. It, it's okay. Okay, so SAS and RCS on. Actually, you don't need SAS. Decouple that. Turn off the Verners. See if we still roll. We're still rolling. Obviously less. So, our center of thrust on the RCS still not terrible I just it's like we're hitting Q and need a roll and I don't like that looks nice though I love the back here but this is a problem and we still got too much thrust up front maybe hmm bring up the interior overlay again too just because yeah, we're still rolling. And I think it's mainly because of the rear thrusters. This is why I don't usually do RCS this way. Hmm. I don't know how to do this because... I don't know. I don't want to remove this because it looks cool, but it's messing with my COM. A lot. I mean, what I could do... I need to find the image of the RCS again. These are actually technically up here, aren't they? I think they're... Yeah, they're technically way up here. So you know what? Let's actually take these. I'm going to put them up here. Instead. Because they're technically... Way over here. Oops. And I think maybe putting them over here might help. Because if they're below the center of mass... That'll kind of balance us out a bit better. Let me see. My slots up. There we go. 
Slots, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna rotate these two. They're not the right orientation. There we go. Oops. Oh, by the way, Kuri, congratulations on the, uh, the big, the big thing that you did today, by the way. Alright, let's see if I can do this right here. I kind of want to clip these in a little bit, too. They look a little weird. That's uh, not bad. <laughs> Case rocks. Front top nose RCS is lower down? Yeah, it is. It is. I'll fix that in a minute. So much paperwork to do, but it's gonna be awesome, yeah. I'm glad though. Glad you got it. Should come over if we throw a party. Possibly. Possibly. I still gotta figure out six flags. I've been kinda of putting it off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. But no, um, I'll I'll see what I can do. Obviously, if you're gonna throw it, you know, depends when you do it. But we'll see. Free bar, no, no. Yeah, for crew, whatever it is. Yeah, crew did a thing hype. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't want to talk about it because you know it's it's her business if she wants to share. But uh, but yeah, congrats. All right, let me just see if I can do this right here. That's a bit better. Bought a house, yeah. Fancy house. See if I can rotate this a little bit here. Just kind of trying to focus at this point. I can share my business anytime. All right, all right. I'll keep that in mind. And I just don't like to. Uh, I don't like to put stuff out because I, I feel bad when I do that. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to make it a topic if you don't want it to be. Try to respect privacy and stuff. You know, have a room downstairs already claimed as my stream room. Nice. Nice, nice. You know what's funny? Um, I want to tell you a little story. My my family likes to look at houses because they kind of want to move. And um, they've been looking around at a bunch of different places. And they actually stumbled upon a, a place in, uh, in Rhode Island. It was kind of funny. I don't know where it is in relation to anything, but I thought it was kind of a little, a little funny. These struts are clipping a little, so I just want to rotate or move those in a little bit. And then we need to go, we need to get the place here. But no, it wasn't like, they didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Toast Road, Rhode Island, no, no. Um, basically, what happened was they were looking and they stumbled accidentally into a house in, I think it was like Warwick or something. And I probably wouldn't move to Rhode Island, but it was just kind of funny should DM me later. Do you know the town? It was, yeah, it was like Warwick or something, but it's not going to be, we're probably not moving anywhere. And even if we do, I highly doubt we would move to Rhode Island. It would mean they have to find a, uh, Warwick's pretty far south, yeah. Like I said, it was an, an accident. Probably wouldn't move down to Rhode Island if we were going to move, but it was just kind of funny. Just a little something. Alright, let's see if that works a little bit better. Now that the RCS is way down there. Sim orbit. 100k, start. Do it phone blocks chat while I type, yeah. It's not a knowing and Kuri said the thing. I'm sorry, enraged. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Kuri got a house. Instead of there, a little fancy apartment. If I do interior overlay, can I still turn the lights on? No, I can't. That's so cool. All right. Anyway, I went to Warwick Castle Courtyard. No, no. Okay, that's better. Uh, still a little bit of roll, but it's not as bad. And I think the issue too is I didn't turn the burners off. Yeah, so we still got a little bit of roll. It's nothing we can't correct for. I think leaving the SAS on would probably do it better. But it looks good. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're balanced. So while I'm up here, here's what I want to do. Where's the space center? Space center is 
Right below us. All right, we're going to warp around a little bit. I'm going to do a simulated landing uh, just to test the re-entry while we're up here. See how that handles. I see how it's hypo. Yeah. So much more exciting to have a yard. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yard's always nice. House hype is best hype. Yeah. House is hard, though. It's hard to maintain. Space center's right there, right? Yep, there it is. Okay, so what I usually do is I kind of align over here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you kind of where it is, but I'll give you a thought. And then I generally go between this island and maybe this peninsula here, approximately. This is like my zero barrier right here. So if I go beyond this point, I'm stuck. So we'll aim for somewhere around here to bring our trajectory in. You guys will see it a little bit better once we get to that point. But let's go and give this thing a little test re-entry. See how it handles. Because the question is, is it going to function okay? Ditch the extra landing gear? Yeah, we will in a minute. As soon as we get a suborbital trajectory here. I want the thing to deorbit, you know? We're actually a little more shallow than I want to be, so we're going to go in like that. Get rid of that landing gear. Close the cargo bay. Put the gear up. Okay, can you can you close? Thank you. All right. Hold here. Let's see how this thing handles. The other thing this needs too is we need to clip a probe core in somewhere. I'll, I'll find a place for that. Yeah, we're a little more shallow than I'd like to be, but that's okay. We'll be fine nose down here so when you're doing a re-entry we're gonna do this a, a bit better later when we're actually doing real launches but uh, you kind of want to go in at about a 40 degree trajectory it's random debris over there holding it about this trajectory is pretty good it shouldn't overheat it should be okay <laughs> t orbit sim dr orbit sim yeah it, it is a sim we're, we're in a simulation but i want to make sure see this is a problem too I need to test this anyway, so while we're up here, we might as well. Because we still we still need to test this, and this is a problem. There's a glitch that I'm going to make use of to fix that, but yeah, we don't want to overheat. <laughs> Overheating would be bad. The other thing, too, is these radiators aren't really doing anything. They're just kind of there. Oh, yeah, we're way shallow. Or we're, we're way, way off here. T Orbit Sim 2K16, yeah. We're, we're way off. Okay. But this is, this is what I wanted to test here. I wanted to see what would happen if we hit the atmosphere. Give it a little kick. Because we're having some center of lift issues at this point. And I was worried that coming in this fast would cause these kinds of issues. Are they turned on? The radiators are, yeah. But we're, we're having lift issues at this point. I was afraid of this. This is why we do the test. Uh, because now we're actually flying backwards. Because our center of mass is so far back. So a couple of extra control surfaces might do us some good. Turn the RCS on for stability here. Let's see if we can get this to cooperate. But yeah, actually doing this. This is why I started early today. Because doing maneuvers like this are very difficult to get right it took me a very very long time to uh to figure this out what's going on with center of lift right now so center of lift is relatively balanced but we've got some weird body lift or weird wing lift coming off these side wings here and that shouldn't be happening but otherwise it seems mostly balanced other than the weird side lift now that we're empty on fuel, it should fly a little bit better. See, the problem is I'm supposed to be coming in like a glider, and we came in with a full tank. So we're going to need to kind of guesstimate that a little bit. Another thing, too, is I'm noticing in physics warp especially, uh, we've got a little bit of uh, wing warp coming in. So a couple of struts to hold these in place might be beneficial as well. But yeah, lower in the atmosphere, we're fine. It's just that upper atmosphere that's an issue. We'll have to cut back the fuel a bit and see if that helps. But yeah, a couple of struts up here might do some good too. We'll see. Maybe run some struts to the main body from those side wings. 
This is actually a little bit higher part count than I need it to be. I could have gone a little lower, but I'll have a nice little fashionable shuttle here. It's fine with me. Give it a little kick since we're stalling. Might as well try for a water touchdown. All right, don't don't die, don't die. We got this. Luckily, it's sim. It is a computer simulation. Toasted snacks during your entry, yeah. Uh... Okay. Uh, minor damage to the nose cone, but we lived. We actually lost, it looks like, the panels broke. We lost all the wings on the front. And the entire, um, the entire, like, SAS, RCS reserve in the front. But it's fine. We splashed down, we survived. This shuttle would be able to be fixed. So I'm fine with that. All right, let's terminate the simulation. Let's see if we can make some adjustments here. I'm gonna cut the fuel back a little bit. Generally, when I do my re-entries, I try to come in with about 700 units of liquid. Uh, 675 is pretty good. We'll try for this and we'll see how that works. Let's get rid of this little wing on the bottom here too. But let's run a sim on this thing and see if that works a little bit better. I'm gonna go Kerbin at 100K, start. Recover them sim, yeah. No, there's no recovery in in the simulator, unfortunately. But yeah, let's give this another uh, simulated re-entry here and see if we can get it to work. Now, I'm not going to do anything fancy with the, the deorbit. We're just going to come down wherever we come down. I don't really care at this point. We'll worry about landing on the runway during actual simulation. Well, not simulation flights, but actual flights. The space center's way over there. It's too much work. So we're going to follow the ideal flight path here, and that should fix it, hopefully. All right, throttle up. Activate the engines. Just going to flip them around here. See if this works a bit better. So my, my re-entry trajectory when I'm coming in normally uh, is about, if I speed this up a little bit here, my normal re-entry profile looks a bit more like this. Uh, this is probably more accurate. I'm going to have to do, and I'll, I'll probably either do it off stream or we'll make a, a stream out of it. Just coming out here in a jet plane, uh, doing a little sim. Just to, not really sim, but just a little flight to go and place some flag markers. Maybe if we do like a, a jet plane kind of, I don't know, maybe like a, a jet tutorial, airplanes and stuff. Might be pretty cool, because I, I would like to build some better jets, and better planes. But maybe when we do a plane tutorial, I'll go and I'll plant some flags, some marker flags. Okay, this looks like a little bit more uh, good re-entry, I should say. You know, it's a decent re-entry. Still getting overheat on the nose, but I think we'll be fine. Generally, my rule of thumb is to be going at about a kilometer per second. Uh-oh. Generally to go about a kilometer per second at about 22 kilometers. Uh, so we're a little high still, which is fine. As long as we can hold steady here, I think we'll be fine. I really should keep the aerodynamic overlay up. Which if you guys are curious, the default key for that is F12 on the PC. We're just getting so much body lift. A little bit better, yeah. Still rolling a lot, though. But I, I think I know why. But it seems to be performing a bit better. AR dynamics look good. My problem is I don't have my flag markers, so everything is... I see what the issue is, I think. I need some struts here. These wings are flexing because they're attached to these wings here. Uh, so if we run a couple of struts off of these just to hold it to the body, I think that'll help. Because you'll notice when we pull up here what happens. Maybe not. I think we're too low in the atmosphere now. But basically what was going on is these were flexing, and it was causing our center of lift to get a little thrown off. You can kind of see it right back here. This is separating. But, I mean, it, it becomes controllable when we get into the atmosphere, which is great. 
but I can definitely see it's it's an issue with the way that the wings are attached. Yeah, I can't pull up now. All right, let me go and fix some struts here. When did you get here? Yeah, some guy's been here since the beginning. He he was here like right after I hit the live button. All right, let me just go in here and run some struts from these wing panels here to the main body, and that should be fine. We'll we'll go from the main body out. There we go. Now with these, I'm going to rotate them, just so they don't clip in the bay. But it doesn't necessarily matter. But this should help out a lot. It should keep everything relatively stable. Uh, keep it from s experiencing all the issues that we're seeing. Hopefully. Do that. And do this. Alright. One more back here for good measure. And then that one we don't need to rotate since it's not in the cargo bay. Surprise the skill of us pro lurkers. Yeah, pro lurkers are, are good lurkers. But you guys are awesome. Even if you're here lurking, I don't really care. You know, it just means a lot that you guys are here watching. That's what it means the most to me. All right, I'm just going to come back here and just run a couple of hidden struts. Run it off of this wing here onto this. And that will just keep everything relatively held in place. And we'll do a few of these. Do another one right here. Or we'll do it right there. That works too. I just want to keep these kind of hidden and, you know, not worry about them too much. It's just like a pair of struts on either side just to hold the wings together. That should help a little bit more. And then last but not least... I kind of want to run struts off these panels, but I think they'll be fine the way that they are. What we could use, though, is... Oh, I like hiccups. Uh, we could use a strut right here. And just run that up to this. Just to hold the two panel sets together. That should help out a little bit. Alright, let's save that. Let's give that a another sim. 100k. Let's see this. Try this again. Right back. Alright, your thing. Hmm. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Hope you guys are learning something. Especially if you never built a shuttle before. Kind of how the the thing works and how the, the physics behind it are. And as always, if anybody's new and doesn't know how I run these, basically, I do this every Tuesday. I'll highlight it all on Twitch. I actually need to do the highlights from last week. I haven't done them yet. But I'll highlight it all on Twitch, and then it'll get exported to YouTube. So anybody watching this on YouTube, obviously, you know, it's already been exported. But I do stream these live every Tuesday. And uh, the link should be in the video somewhere. Either way, you guys know if you're here on Twitch. But you know what I mean. I'm back, we'll come back. Right, lights on, throttle up. Let's try this again. Your turb, yep. I like, I like YouTube. I wish I could do more on YouTube, but I just, I don't know. Right now, I think a good way to get into it is to do the tutorial stuff on YouTube, and then maybe eventually I'll do some more content. We'll see. Meta comment hype, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. We're a little off here, too, because the AP is so far back. Let's try a little steeper reentry, see if that helps. Never just do the meta joke. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. You know, obviously, if anybody's watching this on YouTube, you know, we're making references from the from the past, technically, into the future. But yeah, this will honestly... Um, I'm not sure when this will get uploaded. Probably by the end of the week. This week. It's, um... What day is it today? It's the 6th? 7th? Of September? I don't know what day it is. I don't know where my phone is. I lost it. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. I'll find it later. Probably on my desk somewhere. It is... 6th. 6th of September. As of recording. Show that asterisk. <laughs> Future people. Smash. Keep it, um... Try keep it, like, family friendly, please. Family. Friendly. There we go. But yeah, 
Coco floor of something here. 80, 80, 889,000. But yeah, don't worry about it. Um, I just, I try to keep it kind of family friendly. A good way to put it is if, if you would, if you had like a, a kid in school, not to say anything that you wouldn't want them saying at school, basically. Like a five-year-old. I try to make it so anybody can watch. You know? That's KCB stuff on YouTube was Interstellar Quest. Be my hero to emulate that series in your own way. Like Scott Manley's series? I mean, I don't know if I could emulate it. But maybe. Okay, sorry. Don't worry about it, Smash. Don't worry about it. What I say in the, in the rules below the stream is if you wouldn't say it to your mother, it probably wouldn't fit here. That looks cool over there. This fly is a bit better, but it's still got some structural issues back here. But I see where the problem is, so we'll fix that. Let me make a list of banned words. Type in chat. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. But yeah, I don't have, I don't have like the bot auto timing out anything. I just have it all censored on Twitch, so it just gets bleeped out. But yeah, on, on my end, I usually just see stars. That was a much better re-entry. We didn't wobble as much, so starting the wing has definitely helped. I have a list of band words if you need it. Curry, if you want to send it to me, that would be awesome. That would make my life a little easier. Uh, because I don't have the bot actually timing anything out. There's no spam. Siri pug. <laughs> Love that heart. It's so cute. Minecraft servers. I don't say anything you wouldn't say to your teacher rule. They didn't know how I talked to my teachers. Yeah. That's why I should I should make an adjustment to the rule. Alright, coming in for touchdown. But that was a much better re-entry. So I think if we don't... Yep, we didn't fail the gear. That was a little hard. We almost stalled, but it's not bad. All right, I think we're good. I don't want to restart it. You could do better. Continuous progressive storyline alongside a career playthrough? Maybe. Not creative in the works of word bands. I'm not a troll. Yeah. You did say thank you, Enraged. I'm honored. I don't know how good I'd be at it, though. Making stories up. I am not creative. I am very, very bad at being creative, but who knows, maybe. I'd still probably stream it, though, I'll be honest, because I want, I want Twitch to be, like, the forefront of it. I don't know, maybe some YouTube-exclusive content, potentially, but who knows. Got you, I'll DM you. All right, sure thing, Kuri. Send it on Discord or whatever. I don't care. Don't send me Skynet. Would mind a copy of that, too? Yeah, just send it in like a PM on Discord or whatever, and I'll grab it after the stream. Alright, how do I want to... I want to offset these forward a little bit. I don't like that clipping. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, a couple more things that we need on here. I need a probe core. Just clip one in here. Just cheese that in the battery. We're never going to control from that, so I don't care. We'll hide that in there. Uh, I need some RTGs. So let's grab a couple of these guys. The goal today is I want to get this up and running and I want it to perform a successful mission up into orbit somewhere. If we can do that, I'll be happy with what I've done today. Be yeah, a couple of RTGs in the cockpit should help. Slide that down there. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's rotate these out here. There we go. That should do it. So that'll give me a little bit more power. How much do those generate? Those generate 45 a minute. I'd like more than that, honestly. We'll do a, a second set here. There we go. That works. Just a couple RTGs just to help with the power generation. And then we have the docking. I need some lights. Lights are important. Put one of those right in here. Now what I like to do for lighting, I like to just make sure that we can see the payload. So we'll just hide a couple in here. This is not, you know, mandatory in any way. It's just for for my sake. Makes my life a little easier if I can see everything. Alright, so we'll hide these in here. 
So those will cascade into the cargo bay, which is perfect. Should they give those a little more rotation downward? There we go. Looks like a face. It's great. We'll need a docking port light here. Use another one of these. I like the little round lights. I think they look cooler. But we are almost ready to uh, build a lifter for this thing. So if you guys were waiting for that, the time will be coming. I wanted to focus on building a shuttle completely from scratch today. And I'm glad that I did, because we got a lot done. And if this performs good, we might even use it in the in the normal save. Alright, and now just for for personal reasons, I put lights on the outside here. Just so the, the craft itself gets lit up. I like being able to see the top of the craft. You don't need these, and it's probably better if you don't put them. But I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. It just gives it a nice little something, you know? Just gives it that that nice little touch. I need that little I need that picture of, of Pacha, hold on. I need I need this. When when the lights when the lights are on just right. There we go. Throw it in the chat there. I needed that. Okay. But yeah, it just it makes it look much nicer to have a cascading light on the wings here. It just gives that a nice little accent. But I think we're good. One more set of struts on the tail here. And then one more set down here to hold these wing panels on. And I think we can go and start working on a lifter for this. Yeah, just one set of struts right here. Perfect. Alright, so that should hold everything in place. I think we're good. So, one more quick flight test. Oh, wait, one more thing I need. Hold on, I forgot about this. Something very, very important. Uh, I want these to be capable of atmospheric flight with jet engines. So we do need some air intakes. And I think to do that, we'll just put in a couple of these right here. Right there. Just to kind of fill that space up. We don't really need it, but we'll do it anyway. Kind of gives this a little something too. It makes it, you know, it gives it kind of a purpose. No, we'll just we'll hide those back there. That'll be fine. That way this gap actually serves a purpose instead of just being there as a gap. But I think we're good to go. Alright. Let me clip these down just a little bit more. There we go. That works. Alright, lights off. One last thing before I do it is this is that, that glitch that I was talking about. If we just stick a little antenna here. That'll just make it easy. Plus, it'll be contingency for uh, 1.2 when we need probe control. But that should help the uh, heat dissipate off of this cockpit. But I think we're good, so let's save it. Let's load it up in the VAB soon. I'm going to go build the lifter first. Now, building the lifter is very 